just take a look at these two music videos. One of them is AI and the other one is not. Can you guess which one is what? If you guess the first video, then you're correct. That one is indeed AI generated. If you guess the second one, then you're also correct. They're actually both AI generated. From the images to the animations to even one of the songs, it's all generated using AI. Now AI will play a huge role when it comes to producing music videos. Because a typical flash cut like this can be done in three different ways. The first method is shooting on location. This is quite expensive and it also takes a lot of your time. The second one is a virtual production. Now this, you need to have a massive budget for that. And the third one is using a green screen like this one, but no one has that available to them. Now, if you don't have a green screen like the one I just showed you, then it will be even harder. But thanks to AI, you can easily make a flash cut like this. <laughs> Or you can use AI to copy your favorite music video like this. Now it's super cheap, a lot of fun to do and actually pretty simple. So let me teach you how you can do this yourself. The first step is creating the music. Now you can do this yourself through a tool called Suno AI. Or you can also use music that is royalty free from a tool like Artlist, for example. For the first video, I picked this exact song because that one is perfect for the project that I had in mind. For the second video, I will use Suno, so stay tuned for that. Once you got your song, you're ready for step number two, which is creating your character that will play the main role in your music video. To create our character, we're using OpenArt. We're actually doing all of the generations inside of OpenArt. So if you want to follow along, I would heavily recommend trying this out. I will leave a link to it in the description down below. So what you want to do next is you want to click on generate image. Here we want to select the model that we will be using. For this, I've tested out multiple different models. In my opinion, FluxDev works best. So use FluxDev. Then you want to insert your prompt. And this is very custom depending on what type of video you want to create. I want to make a video about a K-pop star. So I literally asked ChatGPT to help me describe a female K-pop star. Now this is the prompt that it came up with. A portrait of a gorgeous Korean woman with a rich rose pink straight hair. So what you want to do next is you want to make sure auto enhance is turned off. Because if you turn it on, then it will come up with all kinds of different things that you don't want to include in your prompt. Moving on, you want to keep the prompt adherence at 3 and then you want to make this in cinema. So 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Then you hit create and then you get a result like this. Next up, you want to upscale your image so you get the highest resolution. So this is the original image and now we can choose the upscale mode. And with that, I already have done it, but you can do 2x or you can do 4x. And in my opinion, if we take a look at the result of 4x, then we can see it's a lot more sharper than the original. So we're using this image and now you want to download this. So now that we got our main character ready, it's time to generate multiple different versions of her. And there are actually a few different ways to do it. But in my experience, I tested out a ton of different ways. You can use flux context or you can use flux dev but you can also create a character of your person for this tutorial we're going to use flux dev i will show you another method later but for this tutorial we will be using flux dev and then we will be using subject or face reference now this is a new feature that they've added in and what this does is it keeps consistency in terms of the face so it's using that as a reference so i'm uploading my image right here and then we can give it a prompt now for this if you have no idea what to prompt it you can literally ask it to put in your image and then give me different variations in ChatGPT and it will give you different prompts. Now I already did this before and it gave me this prompt. So I got a futuristic close-up of a pink haired girl with chrome eyeliner tears, glowing circuit tattoos on her cheeks and a translucent neon choker. Quite a different image than this original image. So here we have our new image and it's quite similar just slightly different in terms of the background and what's going on on our face. Now we keep doing this 
over and over again until you have a good amount of images that you want to use for your video. Here are a few of them that I just generated. I've generated like over 20 of them and all of these will be put inside my music video. Before you move to the next step, make sure to upscale each image so you have the highest result. So once you got all of your images, you're ready to move on to the next step, which is putting it all together in your favorite editor. For the editing, I'm using Premiere Pro, but you can do the exact same thing in CapCut or any other free editor that you're using. Now, keep in mind that we're just gonna import the images. The generation of the video is the next step because first we wanna lay out the timeline. And what I do first is I've imported my music track. I've made a few changes to make it flow better. And then the next step is to add in all of the images that you wanna put in there. So when I start this song, it starts like this. So at this part, I already added this in. I have a lot of like do 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 do, like a lot of moments where I can add in or change different things. So here I add in this flash cut where I have like the same character and you can see her eyes are pretty much leveled and just the background and her like her exposure changes. So that's what I would suggest you do. You explore what's possible with your song. So the next step is to add in some more things. So for me, that would be when I have this second part that I add in some images here again. So I have copied a few and then I can add in a few extra images right here. You wanna make sure that each and every image is matched to the beat. So for that, you wanna zoom in and you wanna make sure it matches on the beat that you have selected. Another thing that you wanna do is you wanna add in a guide or a ruler so you can match her eyes exactly at the same spot. For that, you wanna make sure you show the rulers and you also show in the guides. Now you drag over your guide and you wanna level it at her eyes and then you can match this for each and every shot that you have. So you can zoom in a little bit, you can move it around until this matches exactly the guides or the rulers on your screen. So now I've added the flash cut, but the video timeline is still very empty. And for that, we want to fill it with some animation. For the first bit of my song, I want her to play the guitar. So what I did is I generated this image right here. And what we can do next is we can start animating it. To animate it, you just click on use image and you use image to video. Inside open art, all of this is built into one place. Now the best thing is here you can have all of the different AI video generators. So for example, one 2.2 just came out and we can use this already and other than that we can also use cdance or cling and for this i'm actually going to use cdance now you can just give it a super simple prompt like women holding the guitar then you want to select the pro model and then you also want to do 1080p so now we're going to click on create and then we have a video like this After that, you download that video and then you go back over to Premiere Pro and here you can import it. Now, I've already done this right here and I just started at the beginning with a slow fade in. Another element that I add into my music video is lip sync. And you might want to do that too, that you lip sync some part of the songs to your character. So the way you can do this is as followed. So you can use this image, you generate it as a video and then you go back and give it a prompt. Now, for this one, I'm gonna use Cdance 1.0 again, and my prompt is super simple again. I'm not gonna tell it to do anything, I'm just gonna say the camera zooms in slowly because we first need to have a video. So then we're gonna click on Pro, we're gonna do five seconds, 1080p, and then you hit Create. Now that gives you a video like this. And you see nothing's really happening, just a slow zoom in, and she's just like staring at you. So now we can use this video for lip syncing. So you wanna download this, then you wanna put this inside of the audio tab you want to drop in your video then you want to upload a segment of your audio so for me it is this do you want this okay strange choice of of audio song of me but <laughs> let me just use this so you want to download this and then you want to bring this over to open art now we drop in the audio and then we can just automatically click on create and then it will start lip syncing our audio so for me it generated this example do you want this and that's all it takes. That's enough for this video. It's good enough. We just download this and now we can put that inside our timeline. I've already uploaded this to my timeline, so I have it right here. Do, do, do you want this? 
so that's how simple it is. You want to do this a few more times with different scenes. For example, here I have her bite into an apple and you can just make any type of changes. So here I'm zoomed in into this guitar. And what you want to do next is you want to edit it a little bit further inside of Premiere. So that means adding in some fades, adding in some zoom ins, adding in some different cuts and tying it all together. All of that will give you a timeline like I have right here. And don't overcomplicate it. The AI will do all of the hard work for you. You just need to combine everything together. So so once you've done all of that in your editor, then you will have a video like this. For the second music video, I got heavily inspired by this song. Okay, I can't show you more, but basically what I liked a lot was that piano scene and her just laying on it. And I thought like, okay, that would be super cool if we can generate this with AI. So for the second song, I actually generated this using Suno. And I basically gave it a prompt that said like, start with a slow dramatic piano intro and leading into explosive K-pop with hip hop trap beats. And yeah, I basically described the song a bit further. Now they gave me this song. Sounds quite cool. So then what you can do inside of Suno, you can download this song. So then I downloaded this song and then we can get to work. Now to create a cool music video like this one, we first gotta create our character. And this method is a little bit different than the previous one. So first of all, we wanna enter in our prompt. So again, I have a beautiful Korean female K-pop idol with long black hair, a bit different this time. And then you wanna change the aspect ratio to 16 by nine, and then you will get a result like this one. So we then have this image, we again upscale this and we create different versions of it. This time you only need four different versions. So what I did is I downloaded this image, I switched over the model and then I use Flux Context Pro. Here I use this image as a reference image. So this is only reference. And then I gave it a prompt, which is she turns to the side and she's captured from a side angle. Now that gave me this image right here. I did it a few times. So here I have another angle and here I have one more. And I basically got several different images just like that. Now you download all of those images and then you're ready for the next step, which is going back to the home screen. And here you want to generate your own consistent character. This is very important because if you don't do this step, then it will be harder to like create the exact character in different shots. So for that, we're going to go over to characters. Now we want to start with four images and you want to upload at least four images of your character into here. Next up, you give her a name. So that could be like, you know, in this case, and then you train your character. This will take you like 10 minutes and then you're done, but then you have a perfectly trained character. The more images you put into this, the better it will be in my experience. Finally, after you have your character, you're ready to go back into open art. So you can create with this character and you want to click on prompt plus reference. Here you have your prompt. So we have Yuna selected. Now what we can do here is we can use the image to image feature. And basically what you can do is you can just take a screenshot of the scene that you want to replicate. And that will be this. Then you upload that screenshot into the image to image feature. And now you want to do one important step. That is the creativity level. The higher it is, the more creative it will be. And in this case, we want it to be very similar. So what we do is we lower it to 35. And then the next step is to generate a prompt based on this image. So this is very powerful. We just click on generate and then it will write the prompt for us inside this prompt box. So this takes like one second. And now we have our prompt. Now, all we have to do is we want to add in or character into this prompt so you want to see instead of a woman we want to add in at and then your character name wester hat and then you can start generating want to click on create so then you get an image like this and as you can see compared to the real deal it looks pretty good now we have just a few changes here but you can do this a few times so i will do this a few times and get until i get a better one so after a few tries i got this version and i already upscaled this now you want to go over to videos and then you want to upload your image right here you want to select the model that you were using for this case i'm using cdance 1.0 and then you want to enter in your prompt and for this one i want to mimic what's happening in that youtube video so in that youtube video we got her like slowly zooming in 
and then it switches. So what I'm gonna do is I have a prompt for that and that is very slow cinematic pan toward the grand piano from a low angle. Camera gliding gently off center. The woman rests motionless on the piano lid. So that's basically the prompt that we have. So then you wanna select the same settings again, only this time I'm gonna do 10 seconds because I want it to be a bit longer. Now you hit create and that basically gave me this video right here where we have her perfectly laying on the piano, touching the keys and it's slowly zooming in. Now you can do this for each and every scene that you wanna copy. So for this next step, we can take a screenshot and do the same thing. So now that we got this video and if we compare them side by side, just look how similar they are. I would recommend not trying to actually steal someone's work. Like a lot of work went into this video, but with this method, you can make your own video very easily, but you can combine all kinds of different methods to make your own cool and unique video. Now, once you do this for every single scene that you have and you combine all of these methods into one video, then you get a result like this. Now click the video that's on the screen right now if you want to learn how to use Flux Context inside of OpenArt so you can become a master at it.